is Satan restored yet? Um, I would say the answer to that is not yet, no, um, because he has free will and free choice and has a whole history of opposition to God and an agenda. But that doesn't mean that he can't be restored. I do believe he can be restored. Actually, I do believe he will be restored because I do believe God will restore all things ultimately. But it will have to be by his own choice to accept that restoration. God is not going to force him. Now, we can be participating in that by our attitude towards wherever you call Satan, Lucifer, the devil, um, whatever name you want to choose. Um, but as that fallen angel who had a very specific role, um, we can be part of that restoration by our attitude. But we have to overcome a lot of opposition because there are a lot of believers who want uh, that being to be destroyed, to be punished, to be eternally doomed to to fire or hell. You know, well, I don't believe in that concept. Um, I believe that any fire is restoration. It's refining. It's purifying. Um, yeah, in that way. So I know those some people um, have, have testified that the the devil came into a courtroom and asked the father as the judge whether he could be restored because he had heard believers saying that he could be restored and there was a person who was in the court who basically told him no he can't and interjected well i had to go back into court and call for that courtroom again and then make the declaration that yes he could because we, i had to undo what that person had done because they were coming from a perspective of an old style thinking that well fallen angels can't be restored they're all going to be assigned to eternal punishment so then that's their perspective and of course that is the majority perspective probably in the christian community so we have a lot of momentum negative momentum to overcome well that doesn't mean that we can't do it so more and more people are beginning to come to that place where god is love jesus reconciled the whole cosmos to himself he wants to restore all things all things on earth in heaven and under the earth will praise god willingly and i do believe that also will include um satan lucifer in that role now there are all sorts of things out there people saying well there is no personal devil there is no it's just a thought of our own mind and everything else personally i don't believe that i do believe some of the words used for uh, the devil or for the you know, diabolos or satan satanos you know uh, are referring to accusers and um, not necessarily a personal accuser but i do believe there is a personal accuser and i do believe um jesus met that personal accuser who looked to um seduce him and deceive him in his fasting in the wilderness but he overcame him by the thing of every word that proceeds from the mouth of god so what is god saying that's the key in all these things what is god saying and i believe god the father son and spirit are saying that they desire for all things that were created to be restored and i think colossians backs that up in that all things that were created by him and through him for him um he has reconciled all things through the birth of the cross the same all things and i do believe that includes lucifer satan the devil whichever terminology we want to use because that is part of the all things that jesus created for him and for us actually because uh, that role was to reflect our identity and destiny uh, so that we could engage it and receive it in the firestones of walking on the firestones of Ezekiel 18. So I do believe um, that this will happen, but you can't say when. It hasn't happened already, um, but more and more fallen angelic beings are being restored day by day, and therefore there is a momentum growing, and ultimately I believe all will bow the knee and fully accept the reconciliation and forgiveness that Jesus has already accomplished for them on the cross. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.